Adjust the gain by moving the slider until the road gets on the left. To navigate the horrors of the Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only chances are, choices are to run, hide, or, or die. Say that again. Die! Thank you. So, have you ever played this one, Zach? Uh, no, no, I never even heard of this. Now, I don't want to freak you out, but this one does get a little... A little wild! This gets a little on the spooky it's side. A wild! I don't know if I'd put it in those terms exactly. I don't know if I'd say it exactly how you just said it, but... Yeah, that's kind of the way you'd say wild if you were, like, sliding on stage on your knees. <laughs> yep, yep. WILD! WILD! Jesus Christ! Sorry, please say that, Dad. I don't want to hurt nobody's ears. Zach, you should be a singer. Guys, I'm going to leave <laughs> the biz and become a death metal singer. But we should seriously make one power metal song where you just sing about dragons in that voice. I'm absolutely... And just see how it turns out. I'm completely out. down. You know, there is a singer out there that everybody always tags me in, and I, it's like a death metal singer, and I... Really? But it I sounds like you? According to people, but I feel bad for that poor bastard, because <laughs> people just compare him to some f hack uh, online... I honestly think you could pull off some kind of ACDC kind of stuff, like... Oh, I don't I can't hit any notes, I'm like, totally Neither tough. can the guy from ACDC! Yeah, oh. the die, 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 go, 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 <laughs> Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I Can you please put a picture of a uh, chipmunk uh, putting stuffy acorns into its ass? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the video of Buggy what, what? shooting up in the sky? Buggy? Buggy? Who's what you, Buggy? What do, you what do you mean? What do you mean? The big fat guy. Buggy? Buggy. One. Oh, bu- Boogie. Oh, of course there's- Oh. Yeah, yeah, have you said <laughs> shooting off that warning shot? Yeah, but instead I'd be like aiming forward oh, with it. Oh, Boogie! Buggy. Buggy. Oh, look at this. Yeah, yeah, okay, I have seen that. Lol, if you came at me in any fucking way, in any way, doesn't matter what kind of way, I would blow you to fucking oblivion. No, I- see, I would- I would like drop on the ground and like grab your- your knees and you'd fall. <laughs> Look, I'm impartial, but I'd hate to see you get blown to smithereens. No, you- but would you like to see Chris f fall? See, I- I learned a bunch of pressure points, so I could definitely <laughs> like- I've pressure seen- points. I've yeah. seen him use that. Some fan was asking for an autograph, they said, I love it, you're so funny. and he literally took out a blade, cut them clean across like a fish, <laughs> gutted them in a second, they immediately dropped dead, it was the most horrible thing I ever saw. I thought we weren't gonna talk about that Sorry, anymore, I forgot man. there's the pending situation yeah. with the pe 15 lawyers and everything. <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh, hey! Tomar! <laughs> Tomar! <laughs> no! And that's me. Where's Lyle? Uh... Shut up, we're looking for Lyle. That's like Lyle. Yeah, I could see myself. He makes that face a lot, yeah. not me. There's two Tomars. A tale of two Tomars. Oh, Lyle, that's you. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that, I can see the resemblance. <laughs> oh, that's you! Yeah, alright, I'll take it. No beard. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's dead. I didn't catch what he was saying, but- Yeah, I was too busy looking at the severed heads. I can't imagine it was too articulate. It's pretty chunky. Okay, buddy. I don't wanna get another fright. I don't wanna get a fright. They lie? Cops? Yeah. You lie! You lie, hey. Wake up, pig. This is worse than a time Lyle heckled Obama, cuts to Congress <laughs> to the- You lie! Lyle, say you lie as convincingly as you can. You lied! Okay, let's edit that in that Obama clip and make it sound real, like there's an echo to it and stuff. You lied! Coffee? Yeah, we couldn't have figured that one out on our own game. Wow, real smart Thanks. game. What if I poured water into that? Just tell me all my character motivations, why don't you? <laughs> oh shit, look at that. <laughs> he sounds like a dude. I was gonna say, it literally sounds like a guy going, I don't need my new skinny monster. Ooh. He's big. Someone threw shit all over that sign. Is that cow? <laughs> oh, it's a fucking. Oh, it's another logo. I, I swear oh, no, to that droning is. It makes me think of like the mist intro. The movie The Mist? No, the game Mist. Oh, I never played it. You could say you missed it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Chris found this in his basement. My dad used to make floppy disks. He used to make them from scratch, and he gave me this one. He built the floppy disk. Yep. And he said, Chris, w when I die and my corpse turns completely black, you are to play this game. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> Don't say that about my poor fucking daddy. There he goes. <laughs> Look at him go. 
Play the sex offender shuffle. State of Florida has asked us to close our sexual crimes to you. We were bad, but now we're good. Moving to your neighborhood. What is that thing in the foreground? That's the baby. Cookies. Oh, a baby. That's like one of those fucking, like, big TikTok babies. <laughs> have you seen that shit? Those people on TikTok that have, like, five-foot babies? Oh, yeah, I've seen that one kid. What? Yeah, they're, like, gross, huge babies. <laughs> Having that second monitor right next to you really makes a whole lot of sense. I know, right? How did we never think of that? Uh, it's like Forrest Gump always said, uh, we're all a little bit Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> we're all a little bit Forrest Gump. All of the bones were buried in pairs, and experts suspect that these were twins buried together. 286, oh, I was thinking- That's a lot of twins. That's, that's a, a lot that's of twins. That's 143 pairs yep. of twins. It's kind of weird. You know what those were probably is Bola twins. Have you ever heard of that? No. It's a Bola twin. So if you're like, um, if you're like a burglar and you're escaping, what a woman can do is she can birth twins and throw them like a bola to trip you. <laughs> but then afterwards, the twins have to be discarded. So that's probably what was happening. That was probably like their hunting method. <laughs> bola twins. Look at my shadow's broad shoulders, so dude. just detached at the umbilical cord? Yeah, yeah. See, you, you, you're getting it. I, I've always hated that fucking sign, that one right- uh, Like, don't- uh, it's, it's, like, it's like a monkey. Uh. <laughs> like, why- that's a real sign. Is it really? Yes! I've with never... that- with that gaping mouth? I guess it's a European thing, yeah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, don't hit? It's, Is that- Uh, it's uh, <laughs> leave me alone. Fuck me. Okay, we're up here. It's like Gears of War music. <laughs> Lock you play, I can't. All I'm right, too scared. What, what are the controls? Uh, WASD, uh, R reloads, uh, right click zooms with the camera, and then J or G makes it night vision. Oh, uh, J? oh do you want? Do you want to play with the controller? Uh, yeah, you know what? That that's probably. It's probably more my speed. I could probably figure that oh, out. Oh, okay. There's a reason Lyle has a controller tattooed on his forehead. <laughs> Chris, would you like to be sealed in a big sarcophagus? I'd well, like to be vacuum sealed and spat on. What's the? <laughs> I'm gonna vacuum seal you and have everyone come over and spit <laughs> and throw stuff at you. The spitocrugus. What is it? Sarcophagus. <laughs> Spitocracy. I'm gonna sit in my jackophagus. And Instead of a tomb of your own jack off, made up of your own jack off. Yeah, I want you to vacuum seal me, put me in my jack off for kiss, and have a bunch of people jack off on and me. And then bury you at sea. Oh shit, is there a button to. And then uh, start calling me Bukak Chris. Chris, when you die, I'm gonna bury you at sea, like Bin Laden, and refuse to ever show a picture of you dead. <laughs> uh, that's a great idea. <laughs> people will believe it. You like it? Yeah. That's me looking for my kid to hit. <laughs> if you ever have children, that's gonna be used against you. <laughs> You're right! <laughs> I'm gonna marry some <laughs> in the future, and she'll use that in court. This she'll was, take this away was, my beloved children. Should, you know, this was recorded yesterday. <laughs> my little, my precious little baby recorded this while their daddy was I'll picking be like, Your Honor, this was recorded five years ago when Your I used Honor, to be a loser. In my defense, I was a little bit In dumb. my defense, I had a Let's Play channel. It was my only source of income. Alright, I don't know what it is about <laughs> you, but I think I like you. You're free to go. <laughs> He and looks it, it sounds oh, identical to you. <laughs> There's something about you that I love. Neither of us spoke in a British accent until <laughs> we entered the courtroom. We just vibed like that. You guys just vibed together. He was kind of feeling it that day, you were kind of feeling it that day. I got the two pumps. Do you ever just pump- pump off? You, you know what I'm saying? You just pump your cock? You I do. Just... <laughs> That's gonna be used against you in court. Good. How? Do you ever just pump your cock? Anderson Cooper's gonna ask me that before I do a debate with Hillary Clinton. You understand, you're describing sec- What did he say? Enter cum scooper. <laughs> Whoa, dude! <laughs> it's 2021, man. That's a good fucking insult. If I have to fucking do that whole thing again, I'm gonna yell. I have a feeling I have to do that whole fucking thing again, but at least I know where it is this time. I'm just proud of you, dude. Well, I know you did what he says, but I'm really proud of you. Even when you had no way out, you still didn't back down, and you did what you could. That's what Can I you do. Put really try to use by that. Even though you didn't do anything, you still dream. <laughs> Chris's inspirational speech. <laughs> I'll to play the, cool to the world. Braveheart music on that. Chris has a bull haircut. <laughs> <laughs> He's got suspenders on it. He gives a speech to the to the UN. Even though you weren't successful. That's the that's on YouTube. It's called the speech to save the world. <laughs> <laughs> In the face of adversity, you still fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. 
You just gotta run out when he comes to your side. Yep. Okay, he's coming. Go. Alley -oop. See ya, bitch! Haha! -ha. Oh, I think I did that too early. You crouched! Fuck. I can't uncra- that- that! Ah, God damn Are it! Are you kidding? The game completely fucked you! Ugh. Oh my god. That diary was genuinely uncomfortable, but... <laughs> There's an enhanced version. How is it enhanced? This game just came out, kind of. I don't know. Did it really? It came out earlier this year, I think. Then that doesn't mean it just came out. It came out earlier this year. You're just fucking <laughs> gaslighting. Yeah, well, we already have conflict. Time flies when you're huffing gas. Me and Lyle have serious issues. Yeah, to work off out. camera we're like Penn and Teller, where uh, <laughs> we're 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 just nice to each other. Yeah, we're nice to each other. We respect each other, but we don't talk. And one of us actually uh, has skin that pulls out and flips the other way. Yeah, are you what? making fun of the fact he lost weight? Are and you making fun of the Are you making fun of the fact that he had an all potato diet and now has a big <laughs> brontosaurus neck? I kind of just shot in a direction and hoped that it would line up with. <laughs> Some factoid about them because no, I that, actually that don't all potato know. Diet, that all potato diet is true. You know what he'd say to you after hearing that? What? Shut the fuck <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> Hey put, <laughs> hey, hey, put the give up and see if you can line it up exactly. Shut the fuck Wait. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't agree to this. Oh, you, I think it, it's got to be uh, scrolled to, to the you bottom. You have to read of, all of it first. You've you got to pretend to read all of it. Shut yeah. the fuck <laughs> <laughs> that poor guy. Everyone tweet this at him. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. He's gonna just see like Little Nightmares 2 Oni Plays. He's gonna be like, what is this? <laughs> what the fuck? Oni Plays is bullshit. You know what's bullshit? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you I wanna see him and the bullshit guy do a crossover. You inspire him to fucking come back. No, he, was bullshit. he had a show called Bullshit. He did. Yeah, that's the joke, moron. Oh, Genius. Oh, no, but what were no. you talking about? The bullshit. Guy? No, I said no. I said bullshit, but he was saying another bullshit thing. I said a separate. Yes, Penn and Teller is smelling bullshit. Penn looks, crawls inside of a a bull's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Teller breaks his fucking silent gag for he's, the first time. Goes, says, "Yummy." Oh, I'm hungry now. <laughs> no, that's that Jim Carrey movie. You guys oh yeah, can't no, no, me. that's him crawling out of an ass, not into an ass. Right, we're supposed to be getting immersed in little nightmares. Hey, wait, Lyle, stop, 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 stop. Just absorb the environment. Just, you have to just soak it in. Oh my God, uh, Chris, I don't, I don't, I don't hear soaking. <laughs> it's kind of like okay, now we're soaking in. <laughs> All right, we're there. good. Yeah. All right, is everybody nice and moist? Are we soaked? Yes. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Yes, Lyle. Oh, my God. I I'm love like soaking in urine. What I is love with being that? in the moist couch with my friends, no matter when what Lyle the liquid. When Lyle sent me a picture of himself soaking in that diaper, soaking in that <laughs> diaper, I knew things were going to be looking up from now on out. Dude, you can't ask me for something and complain when you get it. Look, I simply wanted reference for a... Uh, 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 you dropped your shoes, you stupid ball of people. Wait, shoes That reminds rolling. me of that beehive that that uh, gentleman oh, smacked beehive. over. Oh, beehive. Remember that? He mm. said, oh, beehive, and he hit it, and then it cut to him dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Crouch! Okay. <laughs> your head got smashed I, even worse. I was really expecting it to work. Yeah, I didn't, me too. You got squished like a bug. I think it just wants me to sprint. I think I just didn't sprint early enough. You weren't sprinting? I this was, is like Sonic but... Adventure 2. They stole they stole that from Sonic Adventure 2. When you're, when you're, yeah, when you're running away from the car. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Have you yeah, seen exactly. the video of him crushing the ice cream tub between his thighs? <laughs> He says it was 40 pounds of tension that he applied, and that's how he named his <laughs> Did you band. see the video of Sonic the Hedgehog? And this was just leaked recently. <laughs> Sony's trying to cover it up, but Sonic has a bucket of centipedes, and he pulls them out and crushes them between his toes <laughs> and, like, moans in ecstasy. It's probably one of the most disturbing <sighs> vids I've seen. This sounds like something uh, Shadow would do. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a shadow move, but apparently he's like super nice in person. Yeah, apparently. Well, it's the opposite. It's yeah. like, you know, the people that present themselves that way generally, they've got. You know, yeah, they I, got centipedes under their they've feet. They've got centipedes in their closet. And skeletons in their closet, They've yeah. got centipedes in their, in their toes and, and skeletons in their closet. That's exactly right. You ever notice that society started going backwards once Sonic was created? Hear point. me what out, What year was though, Sonic cause, invented? Because, like... Like, 91? Wait, wait, wait. What year was Bill Clinton elected? Two... No. The year two. No! <laughs> No! <laughs> I created Sonic. I made Sonic! <laughs> it was 
me the whole time. It was time. a Sonic. You must crush that to peace between your toes now. <laughs> I created I'll Sonic. Okay, Bill Clinton. <laughs> Hillary created Amy. <laughs> Hillary is based on Amy. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, Amy's based on Hillary. It's based on Amy. <laughs> pine cones. Zach, do you remember the pine cone uh, incident? Which point? Wait, which point? When you visited Ireland and we made the the video in the woods and there was pine cones. <laughs> I actually don't. Oh, I have like a fragment of a memory. What? What it was, was it? We were walking in the woods shooting a video and then a guy walked by and he was wiping his ass with a pine cone. What? Yeah. Wait, there, you saw that? Is yeah. there footage of that? I don't think there's fun. I didn't whip out the camera and record the poor guy. But he was, he was wiping his ass with a pine cone. How do you even wipe your ass with a pine cone? You just scoop the shit out with it. How do you it, not find something better? I, I, I would have used, used, used my hand. A your leaf? Mouth, your tongue would be yeah, a leaf, anything in the woods. A big, a big piece of grass. A big piece of grass. <laughs> a big old piece of grass to wipe your ass. That's I mean, just so fucking American, dude. Dude, a big piece of grass. To, that's what the founding fathers believed in. The big yeah, piece the of sweat grass. of your brow, a big piece of grass to wipe your ass. Play cool like patriotic music. Nothing better than wiping my ass with a big old piece of grass. That was fucking beautiful. They should play that at uh, at pretty much everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's called the Lawn Wipers <laughs> Anthem. They play it at well, sports you know, games and you stuff. You know, they've got the national anthem. They've now got the black national anthem. We need to play that as the third one. You know, trifecta. Wow. What? Look at him go. Ah, ah, me? Such a majestic creature. Uh, it's like, it's like you're actually shitting out like, oh no. I yeah, that, it. it's ah, your, ooh, that is the waveform oh. to your soul right there. Look at, oh, Make what? a little waveform in your soul. Oh, See? a virgin made this Good game. Good virgin interactive. I wonder if it got him laid. <laughs> <laughs> hey babe. We have to change the name of the company now. I made Resident uh. Evil for the Game Boy. Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in North America at this underground organization's hideout. Tober, that's the worst narration voice ever. Why is it the worst? <laughs> it's just violent. 2.30 a.m. 2.30 a.m. Wait, wait, so yours is better? 2.30 a.m. <laughs> 2.30 a.m. 2.30 a.m. What if I shoot her right in the head? Nice. Now she's nothing. You're nothing to me. You're just a pile of pixels. You're nothing. You're no talent. You're no pixels. <laughs> I pixelized Bob Dylan on stage. <laughs> I pixelated him. <laughs> I, I mini tracked. I pixelated <laughs> Bob Dylan in 1973. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Oh, that's like such a cool character. <laughs> Wasn't there like a whole thing to track down like the people that played yeah, like the, the Resident Evil characters in that, that Resident Evil 1 opening? It was just everyone was looking for Jill because nobody could figure out who she was. She I, was like some like I, weird like Ukrainian college student yeah. that wasn't even like an actress or something. She was, yeah, she was some like student in Japan and they just put out a calling, you know, calling for... Anyone who looks like who a looks girl, kind of like, <laughs> like a, a western like, girl, yeah, <laughs> a hot western girl, come show up. So, what was she even aware, like, that it came out or what it was? Or? I'm not even sure if there was ever even an end to that story. It doesn't. I, I don't know. I I could have sworn that they they found her, or oh. maybe they only found that out. It seems like she didn't even know what it was. Pretty amazing. Yeah, that it could just like elude you like that, you know? Yeah, like. Like, you're, you're part of this super iconic thing and you have no idea. I don't even think Capcom predicted at the time that that was gonna be a huge hit. Nah. No, or it probably wouldn't have looked like that. Yeah, they probably would've <laughs> put a little more effort into it. Very <laughs> Did you guys see Blaze the Movie Fan review of kick Assia? No. no, was that recent? Yeah, it was funny. It's only like two minutes long. He's like, Kikasia is fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking cool. <laughs> Everybody needs to support Blaze so he can make more movie reviews. I do love his voice. I know, he's got an iconic, amazing voice. I love doing impressions of him because there's like no wrong answers with that accent. <laughs> <laughs> you it's, just it's fucking just, it's throw your confidence. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking out from <laughs> just fucking just throw shit. Damn it, it works. Oh, he's mad. 
This is oh. truly like, uh, it's like Bugs Birthday's blowout. <laughs> <laughs> he shot you! I don't know why the fuck Bugs I was Bugs Birthday's to... blowout! <laughs> yeah, I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> My brain started shutting down. Bugs Birthday blowout. Bugs Birthday blowout. That truly is the best AVGN episode. Where, was that, that's one where Bugs Bunny has di a diarrhea dub on. He shits in no, his he face. Shit, he shits on Bugs Bunny. Oh yeah, he has a diarrhea dub on he, Bugs he Bunny. He goes, get ready for it. Yes. And then he shits Is that on, really what he says? He says something to that but effect. But then he also says, don't worry guys, it was fake. And it was fake, so it wasn't real. Imagine having to put out a statement that the fucking two gallons of <laughs> diarrhea that you dumped on Bugs Bunny. You know what's, imagine if that was real. That'd be pretty wouldn't, upsetting. Wouldn't, wouldn't you like that episode more if you were like, no, no, he was like a method actor. He demanded he actually shit on me in the Bugs Bunny outfit. <laughs> it, it was actually Mel Blanc demanding to be shat on as Bugs 99 Bunny. 99-year-old, yeah, Mel Blanc having real diarrhea. You remember when Casey Kasem had that horrible dementia in his last couple years of life? And he was like kidnapped or something? Like, he, Who's he's, Casey Kasem? He's the guy who's a shaggy. Oh, really? I'm Casey Kasem. That, that's my brain. Oh. I'm shaggy. I'm Casey Kasem. <laughs> But Casey Kasem had horrible, horrible dementia that he was suffering from. No. I know, it's truly sad. And um, and his family, like, had a custody battle over him at the end, where he was, like... They, they, they had, like, when he died, they, like, didn't know where to put his body. So they just, like, put it, like, on the beach. <laughs> Shut what? the fuck up, Zach. Apparently crabs got to it. It was a really horrible <laughs> ordeal. Was but, any part of that true? I think I think 93% of it was true. You're actually stupid. <laughs> I actually don't believe Crabs you. made a home out of his skeleton. I never told that. It's not even that 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 interesting, but uh, on. the lucid nightmare. I told you, the Chris. Oh, yeah, you did tell me that. That horrible lucid nightmare that I fucking had. Go on. Uh, I never... It wasn't even sleep paralysis, because... Wait, 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 wait. Say, say what it was. It was a little... Not, what? It was a oh, little, it was, it little, was a little nightmare, too. There you go. It was a little nightmare, too, and <sighs> it was this... You know, I have lucid dreams sometimes, but I had a lucid nightmare, and I... And, I, and it was, like, crystal clear HD... And I was laying in my bed, and the uh, decompo a decomposing witch in a white uh, gown was f literally floating above my bed, and her <laughs> face was like HD. It was more real than any horror movie I've ever seen in my life. And uh, I was looking at all the horrible details on her face, mm. and I was just staring at her, and she said, I love you. And I was like, that is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life, and then I woke up. That is, she said, "I love you." She said, "I love you." Love is scary when you don't know. But I was what like, dude, this it. horrible demon. Thing. Imagine if you saw the scariest monster you've ever seen and it said, "I love." Like, it's like, what do you want with me? <laughs> I'm sorry that happened to you. It. Uh, what's that leper speed quote? Uh, that is the scariest <laughs> goddamn. That's what I. That's what I <laughs> Shut said. The fuck up, I said. You fucking idiot. <laughs> You want to know uh, something that I discovered today? What? I found like a cutoff point in human society on YouTube where. <laughs> what do you mean a cutoff point? I'll explain. So basically, you know the movie The Exorcist? Yeah. Sometimes I go on YouTube and I just look at like scary like scenes from movies I like, like The Exorcist. Like you know that part where she's in bed and she's like, "Your mother sucks cocks on out." Yeah, your mother sucks cocks on out. When I saw that, I was like, "That's scary, right?" But now we've hit a point in history where everyone's so vulgar and crass and, and everyone's like making TikToks of themselves twerking and, and all this other shit that people, all of the comments were just like, this is the funniest goddamn thing I've ever seen. Yeah, kids on Xbox Live and stuff <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, no, literally. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's like now that's normal. That's actually what everyone does now. Yeah, that back then that was a very pearl clutching. You were yes, shocked to yeah. hear a little a girl Isn't say that. that. Yeah, now you go on Call of Duty and you can hear You hear worse say stuff that. than yeah. that. that. That seems like Bible study compared to what you hear on... <laughs> On uh, Xbox Live. It's fucking crazy. Sorry, is Xbox Live even... Am I a boomer? Is Xbox Live even a thing That's still? still a thing. I, I, I don't know. I, I associate, like... <sighs> I guess I guess 2007 playing Call of Duty. Yeah, I guess now you'd say if you go on Fortnite or something. There you go. There you would go. If you go on Fortnite, be... if you go on Fortnite on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, uh, you'll hear worse stuff than that. <laughs> you see, they were throwing tomatoes at him. In, I did. In Why even? No, well, <laughs> no it's, so the, it's actually worse because that was a. Pr they did like a Black Lives Matter event, and uh. the the same fucking thing happened. So they were like, this time we'll disable the tomato emote. 
but they left in like flossing and twerking <laughs> and dabbing and shit. And and what's worse is they uh. did like a crossover event with Wonder Woman, and for some fucking reason, wait, Wonder wait, wait, Woman. Oh wait, 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 sorry, crossover Wonder Woman with Martin Luther King Jr. No, it gets worse though. The emo that Wonder Woman does for whatever fucking reason, oh, she whip, cracks a whip. <laughs> oh my god! So people were like fucking, and so they they then went in. They were like, okay, we're t you can't floss here anymore. But they left that one. Why don't they just so, disable everything? What, what? You know what? Why don't you just not put yeah, that shit in a fucking game? Why don't you not do Martin Luther King Jr. in Fortnite? Why? Why do Time, that? Time Magazine organized that. Cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> truly, truly, Time Magazine is uh, is is of the people. You know, they should they should they should really do a Holocaust remembrance with Minecraft. I think. I think that really resonates. Kids definitely want to play Fortnite to see that shit. Yeah, yeah. That's where you learn about uh, you know, history. Is Fortnite a big part of filmmaking? Is making sure that the stuff that you do reads right, like just just the fact that like if someone's watching it, it translates like what's on screen. But dude, doesn't, then you're like, selling out, and them. you're just trying to make sure everyone comprehends your art, dude. I think you could also do it with like video because a lot of the problem with the, is uh, when movies do that is it's usually script. Like usually they'll say what's, they'll say we have to go to the thing and do the thing. But if you're not seeing what's on screen, it's easy to forget stuff because movies move so quickly. Yeah, like. I don't know, my favorite movies. Like, you never watch Back to the Future and get confused by it, and it's a fucking crazy... Yeah. A guy goes back in time in a car. Huh? <laughs> That's insane, but you know what's going on the whole time. That would be cool if they stopped for ten minutes to explain the science of the flux capacitor and why it makes so much sense. Then Kevin Smith come on screen and explain it to you, just like his cool <laughs> movies. Yeah, I'd like to see a fucking, like, 15-minute scene where they're, like, building the flux capacitor before they tell you what it is. I'd love to see a 15 minute scene of a movie where Kevin Smith is crying in a fisheye lens, looking directly to the camera, weeping. I want him Face to- Face is red <laughs> as a tomato. Was that a thing that, did that he was cry? He's posted like one million pictures of himself crying in a weird like close up. There's like there's way there's like more than five of those for sure that are all different. What's the what, what's the He's point? just trying to show how emotional he gets when he watches yeah, he's like, like he's like I just watched like uh I don't know, Thor 2, and I cry. <laughs> and it's like, you're a fucking idiot, dude. That movie stunk. Well, can you do a good bird noise? I've always wondered that about you. No, probably like a convincing, not. Like a convincing... <laughs> Whoa! That's Home Alone. <laughs> That's what happened to the Home Alone burglars. They got a concussion. <laughs> do you died. guys want to go pitch around to Hollywood reverse Home Alone where the, where the, where the overtruders <laughs> just relentlessly, like, physically torment the child? And, they, and it's like they actually just keep, like, burning him and, like, electrocuting him and throwing him over shit? They keep, yeah, they keep setting up traps in his fucking house. His own home, they actually win. <laughs> it's called Reverse Home Alone, and the plot is that he just keep using... It looks really real, all the violence. Like they use a use a dummy and stuff. Like his head really hits the pavement. We need a catchy name like Home Alone, uh, like Home Invasion. <laughs> That's a really scary title. It's called Home Invasion, and the cover is really scary. And um, the back of it, when you flip it over, it's him in a casket with like rosy cheeks, like <laughs> like he's dead. It's rosy cheeks. <laughs> and the fa the family says. It doesn't even really look like him. Yeah, they weird caked oh on makeup. God. He's like shrunken a little. It, it doesn't even look like. I don't know what they did to him. That's too relatable. <laughs> it doesn't. It, every time I've been to a wake in my in my life, every is, single time the, the yeah. body does not look 100%. right. One hundred percent of time. I'm, when I die, please do not fucking have it open. It never looks like the person. It's but, really uncanny. Yeah. No, I have a, if any of you guys dies and have an open casket, I'm not looking at it. I mean, it's called. I think they call that on Corpsey Valley. <laughs> Corpsey right, Valley. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave in my will that Zach, you get everything, but you have to look at it. Oh, you gotta look. I'll look at it. Do I get to like mess around with it and stuff? You can look. Like I feel, I, you know, I hate to be like a perfectionist, but I feel like if I just give me five minutes with the body, I'm like, I know what Lyle. Like Lyle would have one eyebrow cocked up. He'd have a kind of a, he'd have like a half smile. <laughs> Lyle, you're being silly, dude. Here, okay, here, here's a theory or here's an idea. What's the game theory? There's a chemical where if you lower something into it for long enough, it becomes kind of cakeified. If if you could do that to a corpse and just at the wake, people could just pick little pieces of you off and eat it. Would you do that? Yeah, absolutely. Can't you just make a corpse that looks like me? Or, Can't sorry, you also sorry. Can't you make a cake that looks like my corpse and then just eat that? No, but it, it kills two birds with one stone. One, everyone gets cake. Two, you don't have to. Yep, you're not wasting. This okay, wait, body. Hold, on. hold on. Big cake. It looks like me, and a stripper dressed as alien jumps out of it. As alien? As alien. What's... You know how it bursts out of their stomachs? <laughs> I feel like such an idiot. When you said alien, I literally for about ten seconds I was imagining a gray alien. Me too. <laughs> Dude, what yeah. the hell? That's I bad. Mean, I, I, if you oh, can't... that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Lyle, why don't we deep fry you? 
Uh, okay, I'm 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 into this so far. Deep fry a dead. That's disgusting. Deep fry a dead Lyle. That that would probably look like. Well, that could be how we how we end home invasion. They deep fry it. <laughs> they have a big cauldron. Yeah. Lyle, you're just murdering things now. Why? Huh? I thought you said smelling salts. I'm like, why the hell do I have those? To wake up from this little nightmare. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! You know those guys are Armenian? Is that true? Yeah. Lyle, in three words or less, please describe the Armenian versus Azerbaijan war that occurred. Pretty cool song. Tragically. Oh my god. What did you say? <laughs> Wait, what? Lyle. It, uh, it does, it does kind of suck, like, what oh. they did to the Be Niceans. The who? The Be Niceans, like those little dudes that live in the sunflowers and sing and stuff. The Be Niceans? Well, of course, but they. Well, yep, yeah, the Armenians came in and they were like, ah, you Be Niceans, we hate we you. We will crush your village with our big battle axe. We I, hate I can't singing. believe that joke flew over my head. That was good. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that a teacher hit me when I was in school? They were just allowed to do Dude, that. Dude, she looks like ants. She looks like Z from Ants. Look <laughs> at the face. Dun, 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 Look at the face. She does. Her, her neck's oh, coming up. Oh, dude. dude. That's so cool. That is so fucking scary. She looks like Hillary, actually. She does, kinda. All she needs is the green egg to cut out of her mouth. <laughs> All she needs to do is collapse during the 9-11 memorial. I'm saying nobody that collects silver doesn't know, like, basic level conniving. Right, right, right. So... Yeah, if you're, if you're in the business of silver collecting, you have to know at least some riddles, you gotta know at least some tricks. Yeah. Uh... Oh. Some some like bargain and fuck me. Oh Whoa. my god. Fuck me? <laughs> Every time that scares me. Oh, there you go. Okay, I think I needed to just crouch. La, let's you mix with Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like another fucking person now, but I can't put my finger it on like it. Looks like Lyle's aunt or something. <laughs> oh, aunt. I'm unhappy because I ate. I ate because I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy because I don't have living space. Don't and I it. don't have living space because I'm unhappy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm only kidding. I'm not getting enough natural light. Guys. Uh, what and, wait, wait, and guys, that's... And guys, that's, uh, I don't know if you read the news, Shrek was put on a ventilator, he did get the virus, he is not doing well, and fucking get serious about this stuff. <laughs> give, give him, uh, give him some, I'm not gonna get, just give him some Regeneron, give him some monoclonal antibody therapy. Out of, uh, out of Shrek, Fiona Donkey, Gingerbread Man, Puss in Boots, uh, okay. Pinocchio. Keep going. Uh, the Hungry Wolf, Keep going. and, uh, I know I'm missing somebody. What about, uh, Lord Farquaad? Yeah, yeah, him too. Lord Farquaad, Lord Farquaad. Out of all Lord, those guys, Lord who, who do you think got vaccinated and who didn't? Lord Farquaad got a booster immediately. <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, he, he appeared on television saying that, uh... That yeah, it, Lord Farquaad yeah. said, I don't know about that, but he did, he did immediately get it. Donkey... I don't think Donkey got vaccinated. Donkey, uh, Donkey didn't get it, but he's also, like, 21, and he's got, like, a healthy... So he's like, well... You know, there was he's, that he's like seven, actually. Yeah, he's like seven, and he knows that he'll get natural immunity from it, but he, he doesn't have any comorbidity, so he... Shrek and Fiona got it. Well, Shrek... Shrek didn't want to get it, but Fiona made him. She really forced him. Uh, Puss in Boots, uh, he's also on a ventilator. Puss in Boots got it, <laughs> but he also got like a... We got like the 1% side effect where he had like heart inflammation. He had blood clots. He, he got blood clots, <laughs> and they had to pull the back... They had to pull the AstraZeneca because of Puss in Boots getting a blood clot. Oh my god, that's the one my parents got. Oh no. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> well, your parents are good company with Puss in Boots, man. I, would, <laughs> I wouldn't sweat it too much. You fucking psycho. Uh, they're okay, as far as I know. What, Shrek and... My parents, you fuck. Oh. <laughs> Adam. Yeah? Favorite zombie moment. Uh, Will Smith blowing himself up with a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one. What is this? Oh, Alienware. Did I ever tell you about a computer, an Alienware computer, but they, they suck. Why? What happened to it? <laughs> it drops it down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Did that really happen? Yeah. <laughs> that happened. Like a big hole came out of it. <laughs> it was sad. A big hole came yeah, out of it? Yeah, I just got it for Christmas as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately flew in. Oh, uh, yellow zombies, this sucks. Did mm. you start crying? <laughs> no. Did I'm... you make a hole in the floor with it? No, no, it, it just like exploded the computer. <laughs> I, I didn't get out of one.
Yeah, that's a sad story. How old were you? Uh, pretty young. Nine, ten. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. Reduced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains... What the fuck? Who said that? <laughs> was that one of you? <laughs> was that one of you? <laughs> was that one of you? <laughs> that sounded like a real human being in the room I thought he was right in now. the room. It was scary. Whoa. She's so strong and independent. <laughs> it's just trying to survive the apocalypse, you dick. Sorry. One of us. We see. Now that's how you start a video. So those were zombies? They're some kind of infected humanoids? I just don't. Why were they, Why were they acting like that? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> What is going on? So the game, can I give a little, uh, you're scared. Oh. Not information scared. about this I'm game? I gotta pinch you, yeah. So what? this game utilizes, uh, you're what supposed to be like a acrobat. Basically, <laughs> yeah. it's like uh, a mix of running away with... Acrobat. Yeah. Cool. So... It's called parkour. Oh, yeah, that's what I was looking for. So I was getting so stumped. Yeah, parkour. Yeah, but you do parkour. Have you ever been to the park and seen a whore, and then she parkours away from you? I meet most of my dates in the park. Really? Yeah. And Adam parkours after them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking old lady told me once that people used to meet, like, how they would- You know, like, Tinder's a thing, though? Mm -hmm. It used to just be, like, the local park. <laughs> Go to the old fuck park! Yeah. Stand to the left or to the right! Yeah, <laughs> Dude, I'm, like, getting into character as the ninja. You should, like, talk as if you're him. Like, say what he'd be saying right now in this situation. I like being stealthy and throwing stars into people's faces. I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I love... I love Splinter, and I love <laughs> Raphael! <laughs> there should be a ninja movie where that's all he talks about. Uh, editor. I don't know, maybe put, like, cool, like, you know, monsters behind the mountain fighting. And, like, peeking over? Okay, pe one peeking over, two fighting in the middle. Maybe put a cool statue of, like, uh, like, Invader Zim on the right? Oh, and, 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 like, the sky above makes someone smiling down on his creations. Like God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like Jesus. And maybe, uh, maybe put Satan underneath the water look <laughs> <laughs> looking up. Looking <laughs> up, and they're looking at each other longingly. What a cool picture. Okay. And Andre, please. Ninja. Ninja knocking. Hello. <laughs> Ninja knocker. Uh, so oh, NinjaKnockers.com. <laughs> I've been expecting you. <laughs> My delivery. <laughs> it looks like the guy from Half Life. Inevitable. It's kind of racist. No, it's no cure. No, no. It's a <laughs> no. It's no. not. There's no cure right now. <laughs> you see, I've been running tests. <laughs> Look how big his files are on his computer. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. He shrink that. I've called you here to make my icon smaller. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot figure it out. Ew, well, they, they had a picture of like a donkey mouth. <laughs> Did you saw that? that? Yeah. I assume it was just zombie teeth, not a donkey no, mouth. Was, he just had that open up for, for himself. Ew, donkey mouth! <laughs> and what's your favorite kind of loot? Drugs. No, come on, dude. Oh, come on, be, be right, real, right, be right, serious. Right, We're right, trying to have a conversation, right, dude. Right. Trying to have intervention. Uh, my favorite kind of loot. Uh, I like rare armors. Uh, you like rare armors? Yeah. <laughs> I like Daedric armors. <laughs> I like enchanted armors. <laughs> You ever blow a fuse really badly in your house? Uh, no, I've been shocked by an outlet before though. How'd that happen? Uh, this is gonna- don't judge me. At all. I won't judge you. Thank you. But you know those outlets in my room and like the little- the lamps under- in my bunks? Yeah. When- I was really tired one day and the light bulb wasn't in there. Yeah. And uh, I had it flipped on. And I was just like half asleep, like fingering the hole where the light bulb goes into it. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it was like super zapped and it fucking screamed. And then, like, <laughs> Did a little blue light shoot through your body and your hair stood up? So I just remember it was like, <laughs> it, was, like it really fucking hurt. I got in a lot of trouble as a kid because I hosed down my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? It was really weird. There was like, <laughs> I always down my, my kitchen. What kind of sentence is that? <laughs> what do you mean? I always down my kitchen. I did. Yeah. Uh, there, so in my old house, and 
you know, there's like a laundry room. And uh, past, uh, like, it led to outside. It was like kitchen, laundry room, outside. Yeah. There's a Jesus! Oh my god. <laughs> That's what you did as a kid, Adam. Oh. <laughs> no. But then... Basically, I saw a fly in the kitchen, and then I started hosing it down, but it was really fun, so I kept going. Peter. 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 I'm the season one, Brian. Peter, what are you doing? Peter, you're an idiot. Oh. Yeah, geez, this is worse than the time that my, uh, freaking dog got What the f***? You sound like Seth MacFarlane. What, what the, the f***? Fuck? What the f***? <laughs> what the f***? You can talk to me? You can speak to me? You're a f***ing dog? What That's do like, you know about me? They basically did that joke, but That's I mean... That's like a modern family guy joke. <laughs> what the yeah. f***? A modern... Well, they did that joke in season two, and it was really funny, but now they'd go, What the f***? You can talk, you stupid f***ing dog? I would never abuse Brian if I had Brian. I would never hit my dog Brian or my son Stewie or my Plus son. He's southern. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, he's a southern preacher. <laughs> I would never hit my dog Brian. And I would never hit my wife. Lois. And I would never hit my dog. But sometimes the Lord works in other ways. Remember the time. Well, Brian, that's really deep that you want to shoot yourself in the head with that gun. In this vault? Wow, that's really deep, Brian. Thank you. I uh, wanted an Emmy. I... <laughs> Well, you have it now, Brian. That's really deep. These little twerps do need, they <laughs> do need discipline. They do need the... Wait, wait, wait. Zach. What? Lyle, stop moving. Guy on the left, Zach. Dude, do the voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now do that kid in the foreground. <laughs> okay, now the guy on the left's going... <laughs> do you have some tap dancing noises to that? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Lyle, why aren't you joining in? Lyle, why aren't you joining in? Oh, yeah. Wait, Lyle, 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 voice that kid right there in the very front. <laughs> you know what else is really cute? What? Like, fat, sweaty goiters. Uh, it, it, will you just be like in public? Yeah. That is kind of cute. A goiter is like a turkey neck, right? Like it's like a when it's, like, you... it's like a big George Lucas head. Okay, yeah. Uh, neck. How does he have that? He's not even that fat. He's not even that fat. He's not even that much of a giant, disgusting fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Some people fuck? just, uh, that's where they just accumulate fat. I like George Lucas. Me too, man. I don't know why you called him fat. You called him fat. <laughs> I think he's just a talented filmmaker. You see, I guess, the physical stuff first. I see the mind behind it. I feel so bad for that nice man. Everyone gives him so much shit. I feel so bad for those little insects and amoebas that have to live under his chin. That's so f- what are you talking I don't, about? I don't, I don't, I don't know why I said that was really over the line. Insects and amoebas. Uh, Amoeba Lucas is his daughter. Uh, this is my daughter, Amoeba Lucas. This is my daughter, Amoeba. <laughs> amoeba, do you like the name I gave you from birth? It's no, fun. Dad, I hate it. Well, you're stuck with it now, Amoeba. It's not like you you're my favorite and, and, and hello, and Zoom, 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 and I'm the Amoeba that lives here. <laughs> the Amoeba that lives in Amoeba. I'm the, I'm the Amoeba that lives on her head. We should create a new planet. Amoeba-topia? Uh, 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 I want to live on Amoeba-topia. Did you ever see the whole approved episode where he dissects the, the, his co-host? And his sons. He, he dissects all of his sons. And <laughs> One at a time in front of each other. With a big cleaver. With them tied down. <laughs> 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 That's the last episode. Uh, it's called Sun Improvement. So, <laughs> Bone Improvement. Oh, play God. Oh, fuck. Play Watch out! I think I fucked up. Oh! I think I fucked up. Can you I say country roads, but instead the words are Lyle's holes? Uh, okay, so the ding 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 Lyle's holes. Yep. Lyle's holes. Yep. Lyle's holes. Yep. Lyle's stinking holes. Stinking. <laughs> Lyle's holes. Smaller than the trees. <laughs> I, I hope so. <laughs> Uh, covered in cold sores, stinking like a breeze. <laughs> Smells real cold. good to me. <laughs> That's so scary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Shit. You see your face in, in like, Pokemon go to the polls. <laughs> Why aren't I 50 points ahead, you might ask? <laughs> apparently, apparently, she, uh, and this is true, Bill, Bill Clinton was watching her eat a piece of rotten ham and he said, That's rotten. <laughs> and she said Rodham. I, That'll I play look. well in Missouri. That will do very well in Ohio and Maine's <laughs> second district, worth one electoral vote. Dude, this is like it. Yeah, it's the it ladle. My boy! 
God. Can I use your fucking boat, Georgie? Say, do, do, yeah, you do a pretty good uh, Pennywise. Well, make tell me to say anything as Pennywise. Uh, okay. Um, as Pennywise, yeah. review the movie Juno. I like her pregnant belly. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that sounds pretty amazing. They always bounce. They down, always down bounce. They always, I can't even do it a little bit. Boo. Boo, 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 boo. Now, Pokes can, can, wait, 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 can you say, can you say down here we only watch Juno? <laughs> down here we only watch Juno. When was the last time you guys, have you, or, or have you ever, eh, rewind, have you guys ever seen a movie called Knowing? Knowing? It's with, uh, um. Andrew Garfield. No, what's his? Noman Polanski. <laughs> No, what? I actually forgot his name. Uh, oh, yeah, she was supposed to come in. He's in Face yeah, Off. That, that just fucking glitched. How if Nicolas Cage, have you guys seen the movie Knowing where he gets, like, he gets the piece of paper and it's like, he goes, like, uh, the plot is literally... Oh! Like, that's the girl from the first game! That's who was following you? Yeah. Oh. Oh. But the plot of Knowing... It starts off and there's like a little girl in the 50s and she's like in school and the teacher's like, now class, everyone do your do your time capsule. <laughs> and this little girl's going like, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, one, two, three. She's like, right, I think she goes insane. And then it fast forwards to the future of 2009. Yeah. And uh, it's Nicolas Cage in the crowd and he's like a teacher. And, and his son, his like 10 year old son, and they have the mother, of course. His 10 year old son is like, gets, everyone gets their own time capsule and he gets that one. Mm. And the kid's like, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. He goes insane from that. But then Nicholas Cage realizes, he goes, wait a minute, all of these random numbers, 9-11, wait a minute. And he goes back and he goes, wait, Pearl Harbor, 9-11. <laughs> and he starts going, and he goes, wait, these numbers are the future. Then he starts going crazy. Uh. And uh, can I spoil the end of the movie for you? Is it sure. worth watching? It's really insanely stupid. So you're going, okay, let me just ask you, like, what do you think would, be, would, would happen from that setup? Uh, there would be one that's in the near future, and then he'd tries to stop it and, and then he it, causes it yeah okay interesting what do you think chris same thing um i i if it was me i've, I've thought about this exact situation where if you went back in time or if, if you knew about 9 11 and you went back in time and tried warning people they would just put you in jail as a terrorist or something and it would happen and they'd like torture you probably yeah right so that's what i was i was like, I was like okay they'll, they'll see the numbers and then they'll like and then he'll prevent it. But it, and he goes, "There's this is going to happen on this day. And he's driving, and a big a big airliner crashes in the middle of the highway where he's driving. <laughs> and then he's like, no, wait, there's a bigger, bigger event. And then you're like, okay, what is it going to be like? I've it's seen that like, clip on YouTube. I've seen that re yes, really insane clip. It's so fucking stupid. And then I'm like, okay, what? It's going to be like a... T and, it's, and then the, the news is like, the sun is getting hotter. <laughs> and then I'm like, what? And then he's like, we, there's no hiding. We need to go underground and do the tunnels. And I'm like, wait, wait. And then, and then his kids... Kids are being followed around by guys with, uh, like, bald guys with black suits. Yeah. And then uh, at the very, very end, he goes, we couldn't prevent it. <laughs> and then the guys in the black suits transform into aliens <laughs> and take the kids into a pod and fly up into the air. And then the Earth is destroyed and he dies. And then it cuts to a, a new planet where the pod lands and they make a new Adam and Eve. <laughs> That's the ending of the movie. That's awesome. I was like, I thought it was like, I thought you guys. That's I was like, actually cool. I want to see what, that. What, what, what did that have to do with the the, nothing. the girl from the 1950s? How did she no, do that? Dude, nothing. She just predicted that an alien would come down and make a new Adam and Eve. <laughs> it's the craziest movie I've ever seen in my life. And it deserves that 31% or whatever on Rotten Tomatoes. Please show a clip of it. It's ridiculous. Hold Zach's hand. That was funny, dude. Don't worry. Rubs my fang, rubs my thumb across your palm. <laughs> rubs my fang across your palm, <laughs> cutting into you. Bites into you. <sighs> now you're a vampire. Now you're a me. Now you're a crispire.